almost all of the waste generated in India ends up either in landfill or waterways, and that's because there's no formal waste management program in place. But a group of people known as waste pickers are trying to change that. estimated 1.5 million waste pickers in India who pick up, clean, sort and segregate recyclable waste and sell it further up the value chain in order to make a living. Waste pickers are normally the very poor, mostly women, and are seen as undesirable people in society with very little chance at a better life. While this image is unfortunately still true in many areas, a lot has happened to improve the life of waste pickers thanks to organizations working on the ground to make a difference. Hasrudala Innovations actually is a, not, is a for benefit, not for loss social enterprise that works to create better livelihoods for waste pickers through inclusive business models that have an environmental impact. We try and figure out business models that provide access to opportunity and access to markets for our waste pickers. And these waste pickers play a vital role in keeping cities clean, but they also keep plastic from entering the oceans and rivers. And when you consider the fact that 80% of the ocean's plastic comes from five rivers in Asia, they play a critical role by collecting 1,050 tons of recyclable plastic every day. Waste pickers do a phenomenal job. They are silent environmentalists and they are cutting down waste getting into the waters. They are uh, reducing the carbon footprints by recycling. The long-term goal is to increase the monetary value of collected plastic waste by increasing the adoption of recycled plastic among brands and companies that use it the most. Enter the body shop. Renowned for its ethical trading initiatives, they've teamed up with Hasuradala and Canadian startup Plastics for Change to encourage the ethical sourcing of plastics, the world's first. We're sourcing directly from waste pickers who are a very marginalized group of people to provide us with recycled plastic back into the supply chain for the products that we retail. We know that the world is drowning in plastic and it's an environmental disaster, but rarely do we talk about the human side. And waste pickers, they provide a vital line of defense in preventing plastics, particularly entering our rivers and our oceans. The majority of plastic waste is recycled by the informal sector in India. Price volatility and the lack of transparency in the supply chain means that there is no stable income for waste pickers. The Body Shop and its partners are attempting to introduce a fair price system in this unorganized industry with social programs and a mobile app that helps with transparency. We have created this. We connect them through, uh, through our app to different markets to help them get a consistent pricing. So reducing the volatility helps them be able to accumulate the plastic without worrying about the price falling. The Body Shop's helped us in a ton of different ways. The one is creating a consistent demand, so a stabilized price which allows us to uh, provide that shared stabilized price through the supply chain. So really um, reducing a lot of the, the risk. Along with a more stable price for the plastic collected is the introduction of an occupational ID card, which formally recognizes waste pickers and helps them access social services like healthcare and gives them more legitimacy in society. This is how the system works. Plastic bottles that are thrown away in Bangalore are collected by the waste pickers, who then sort out the recyclable plastic from other waste and send it to aggregation centers. So here we're at the aggregation center. So this is the point uh, where all the plastics collected from the different segregation units and waste pickers comes in for a final sorting of what is acceptable for the body shop uh, for our specification for other plastics that we won't accept in our supply chain. These are the body shop material where, which are comprises of LDP label and PVC label. And the PVC label we are counting is because it is easily comes off but body shop doesn't accept PVC label on the bottle but if it's label removed they will accept it. Once the bottles are sorted and the right ones are set aside for the body shop, they are bailed and shipped to Europe where the recycled plastic will be used to package hair care ranges, including the body shop's popular ginger shampoo. The hope is to increase the amount of community trade recycled plastic over time. 
This year, the Body Shop will buy 250 tons of recycled plastic and help to support 2,500 waste pickers, providing a safer work environment and a better wage. They are literally changing lives through plastic.